there! I'm Kasazora, this is Brad Shop, my second Minecraft account, and today we're gonna take a look at a very cool plugin called Contracts. This plugin is from the same creator that made Stonks, a Minecraft plugin that adds stocks and investing to your Minecraft server. And this time he made a plugin called Contracts. And as you might have guessed, it adds contracts to your Minecraft server. Now if you don't know what that means, just keep watching, it's really cool. Now before we start, make sure to leave a like, also smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would help me out a lot by doing that, you actually would. And then without any further ado, let's uh, dive right into this. So the first step will be getting contracts onto your Minecraft server. There will be a link in the description of this video that will take you to the Spigot MC page from contracts. Over there you will be able to purchase the plugin. Do note that you will need to be locked in with a Spigot MC account, otherwise you will not be able to see the page. After you've logged in, purchase contracts, download the jar file, drag it into your plugins folder and then restart your Minecraft server. It's also important to have an economy plugin and vault installed. For an economy plugin, I would highly recommend Essentials X, as it's just an all-in-one solution for a lot of stuff. So a link to Essentials X and Vault will also be in the description of this video. After all three plugins are installed, it is time to make our very first contract. So to make a contract, we're simply gonna type slash contract, like that. This will bring up the contracts hub. Now here you will have a few different options. We got the reputation, contract creation, contract market, and the contract portfolio. Now we don't have any contracts yet, so let's create one. I'm gonna click on create contract, and then we have a few different options here. We got a generic contract, a kill contract, and a trade contract. Now let's start off with the simplest, a trade contract. So let's left click, and here we will be able to fill some stuff. So first of all, a name. I'm gonna call it Cactus, like that. Then we need to set a description. Uh, I need Cactus, all right. Next, we got the deadline. So the number of days in which the contract needs to be fulfilled. Uh, a single day should be enough. Then a guarantee. So the amount of money you will pay if you terminate the contract. In other words, I will create a contract called Cactus. Another player on the server will be able to take this contract and get me some Cactus. When he cancels the contract without fulfilling it, he will pay the guarantee. So the guarantee is basically what you pay beforehand and after you've completed the contract, you will get it back. But if you don't complete the contract, then you will have lost the guarantee. So I'm gonna set the guarantee to 50, then Payment. The amount of money you will pay the employee if he fulfills the contract. So let's put that to 100. Then the item trade. Which item do I want? Well, I want a cactus. And then the amount. I want 10 of them. This looks great. Let's click on create. And there we go. Congratulations. You created the contract cactus with a payment amount of 100. So here we are on my second Minecraft account. Now Kassasura there just created a contract. So what I'm gonna do now is type slash contract again. Then we're going to the contract market. We're gonna choose the trade contract and there it is. The contract is called Cactus. You can see the payment amount, the guarantee, the deadline, whose contract it is, the type of item I want, just everything. Now at the bottom it also says you must pay 50 of guarantee for this proposal. If your proposal is declined, your guarantee will be refunded. Okay, awesome. So let's left click and let's do a proposal. And then over here you can actually change the amount. So the amount of guarantee, but also the amount you will get paid. So Kasasura initially said 100. Well, I'm not gonna do it for 100. I want 150. So I changed the amount to 150. Now I'm gonna Confirm it, yes, and there we go. You created a proposal for Cactus and paid 50 in guarantee. Now back here on my main account, it will say you just received a proposal from Bradshop for the contract Cactus. Okay, well, let's check it out. Contract again. And this time we're going to the contract portfolio. Then here it will say awaiting employees. And here we can see my contract Cactus. If we left click on it, you can see the proposal Bradshop just made. So I can see that Bradshop wants 50 more than my initial amount. The guarantee is the same though. I will pay a little bit more, but I will get my cactus. I'm gonna accept it. Left click, 
are you sure? Yes! Congratulations! You accepted the proposal of Bradshop and paid 150 for it. The money is gone from my account and now it's up to Bradshop to complete this contract. And here we are, back on Bradshop. And here it will say, congratulations, your proposal was accepted for the contract cactus. So when we type slash contract again and then go to contract portfolio, and then here on the right, we go to open. Then you will see the contract. The state is open, meaning that I can now fulfill it. Now, what did Kassasara want? Well, he wanted 10 cactus. Okay, well, let's gather some. I'm gonna steal this. There we go. That's three. Then we got six, eight, and then this should be enough. Haha, <laughs> 12 cactus. Enough to complete your contract. So let's type slash contract again. Let's go to contract portfolio. Then we're going to click on open contracts. Here is the cactus contract. Click on it again. And then here you will have a few different options. Now the first option here will be call a middleman. Now Kassasara, what is a middleman? Well, for trade contracts, you will probably not need it that much. Though if you have a generic contract, you might need it eventually. So just to give a scenario, let's say you would make a generic contract. And that generic contract will be make a base. Now I built a base, but Kassasara is not happy with it at all. So he doesn't want to give me the full amount of money. Though I want him to give me the full amount of money, as I did build the base for him. But no, he doesn't want to give the full amount of money because the base is ugly. Well, then you got an issue. Now in cases like that, you can call a middleman. Now middlemans are always chosen by the admins of the server. So helpers or moderators, for example, can be middlemen. And their role is basically to resolve this disputes. So they will basically make a decision on how much each player will have to pay the other. Now the downside of calling a middleman is that he will take a 10% commission. So the middleman will also profit. Though sometimes there's just no other way and you will need a middleman to resolve your problem. Now in our case we just simply got a trade contract. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give the items. Click to give all the cactus in your inventory. Let's left click and there we go. Immediately it's all done. I've given 10 cactus and the contract has been completed. Now here it will say create a review. So how is your experience with the employer been? So I can left click to send it. I can right click to modify the notation. I'm going to give him four stars and then shift right click to modify the comments. Great contract didn't get paid enough. <laughs> there we go. Now let's left click are you sure? I am. And there we go. You successfully sent a review for Cactus. I received my money. And if Kassasara goes to slash contract, then to the contract portfolio, then down here to the ended contracts, then we're going to choose for Cactus. And then over here, claim items. Click on it. Bam, the 10 cactus is now mine. Here we can see the review that Bradshaw placed. It's a great contract, it didn't get paid enough. Okay, that's good to know. And now the contract has been fully finished. Now that we've completed the contract, if we go to the contract hub again, then you will now have something inside of the reputations tab. So when going there, you can now see the review that Bradshaw wrote about us. Now everyone will be able to see this review. In other words, by reading reviews, you can see how trusted a person is. And if you should take a contract or not. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is how to make a generic contract and how to end it. So we're gonna type slash contract again. Now we're going to create a new one, but this time a generic contract. The name will be stone. The description will be place a stone. Then the deadline will be a day. The guarantee will be 50 again. And the payment amount will be 100 again. Create and there we go. Then on Bradshop, we're going to type slash contract. We're going to the contract market, then generic contracts. And here is Casasora's contract. Okay, stone, cool, left click. And I'm going to keep this the same. Confirm. Now on Bradshop, we can see your proposal has been accepted. All right, let's place a stone. Well, in that case, I'm just going to spawn in myself a beautiful stone and I'm going to place it right in front of Casasora. There we go. That looks great, right? That looks awesome. A stone. That's what you wanted. So I did what I needed to do for the contract. Let's type slash contract again. Then let's go to the contract portfolio. See my open contracts. And there it is. Now we can call a middleman, but I don't think that's necessary. We're just going to make an offer. So right click to modify the offer. 100 is the amount that Kasasura initially said he wanted to give me. So I won that $100. 
press enter. There we go. And here, back on Casasora's account, I will receive the offer and when typing slash contract and then going to contract portfolio, open, there it is. I can now accept the offer. So I will just pay the $100 and the contract will be finished or I can make a counter offer. So let's say I'm not fully happy with the way he placed the stone i can also tell him like nah i'm just gonna pay you 75 for it and then bradship can be like no i want 100 and if that goes on you might want to call a middleman but in this case he placed the stone perfectly i'm gonna accept the offer and this will complete the contract so the negotiation for stone is ended and you paid Bradshop 100 for it. And now the contract has been finished. And then that's everything for now. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell if you haven't done that yet. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. Now be sure to check out contracts with the link in the description of this video. And then I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.